Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is HP Pavilion laptop. Pavilion 14 dash Charlie Echo 0524S model. The right hinge is broken and the front bezel. So today we're going to replace the top lead with the hinges and the bracket. We do have the replacement part. I got it from eBay. It comes with pre-installed adhesive and the Wi-Fi antenna to make my replacement easier. Okay, so we need to follow some safety precautions to go forward this repair. First of all, we're going to take out the back cover and disconnect the battery and then we'll separate the top panel and bottom panel completely by removing hinges, screws, Wi-Fi antenna cable and LCD cable. Once we separated those connectors, then we can work on the top panel. So if you find something like this, very careful when you open it because the actual bracket is really flimsy. And that is the part which is in silver color and the previously the original one was rose gold, I believe. So first of all, we're gonna take out five screws from the back panel, two from the hinges, another three from the bottom side. Now we can take any sort of flat opening tool just to open it and we can go through it might make some cracking noise don't worry it's not going to break anything but don't push too much pressure in there just slowly slowly and I left it like vertically so make things easier because when the hinges are broken when you close and open the panel that might damage the actual screen or tear off the sensitive LCD flex cable. Okay, so let's take it out gently. And before we remove the battery, I would suggest you please do not disconnect any cables or touch any inner component that might damage the actual motherboard. So sometimes even I do forget myself, but try not to forget. That's the one. So let's take this out. So this video is going to be quite longer, about 10 to 13 minutes, but in reality it takes more than 45 to 50 minutes to complete this repair. So let me know in the comment section if you do have any questions about it. And this sort of similar machines would have the same procedure to do that. So if you don't have the exact same model, still you can apply. That might be very helpful. As you can see, I'm removing the LCD connector without pulling out the battery, which is absolutely wrong. So make sure you don't make this mistake. Okay, separate the battery first before you do that. Luckily, nothing did happen, but that is really dangerous.
At this point, carefully, we're going to remove this webcam because that is connected with the screen connector. Okay. And this is very flimsy, so be careful when you pull this off. Strong adhesive, so when you pull the wire, make sure you don't damage it. So this is the panel. We don't need to remove the LCD connector. And also I can show you the model number so that you can get the right screen in case if you need it. And as you can see, the actual left hinge and the cover of it is completely covered with such a strong adhesive. So I had to struggle a lot to take this out. I had to struggle a lot with the existing screen because somebody used double-sided tape, which is really strong, and I had to pull it carefully. So it took about five to ten minutes just to separate this screen panel. And before I putting it back to the place, I'm just double checking by connecting the LCD connector and the battery and just press the power button. So I confirm the screen does work and I don't have to repeat the same job again in case if I broke it during the operation. Okay. So make sure you know, make sure you give it a check.
So finally, everything has done correctly. We had a couple of struggling. The first struggling was separating the screen from the front bezel because the plastic bezel was broken previously and there was some sort of strong double-sided tape. So it was kind of risky to separate the screen panel. And then second one, screws from the hinges. To take those out, it was kind of solid rock because someone previously they used some sort of nailless glue strong adhesive i don't know why but finally it's done everything working fine so we are happy so let me know in the comment section how did you like it or this video and if you do like don't forget to subscribe and share thanks for watching bye for now